Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a movie review on Free Guy that I just saw last week and I have some things to say about that movie and I wanted to do a movie review on it. So let's get started. Free Guy is kind of like a combination of Ready Player One. You know that it stars Ryan Reynolds who plays a background character in a video game universe. And the video game is kind of like a Fortnite and a Grand Theft Auto, you know. It's called Free City, they live in a city and that people, there are certain people that like, you know, there's like a guideline that there are certain characters that have sunglasses which are very special, you know people in the video game and the reason why is because they're actually players that are playing the video game from the real world in earth as you say and the reason why they're special is because they can do a lot more things than you know the characters that are part of the video game such as with ryan reynolds you know the characters with the sunglasses you know they can fight they can punch a pedestrian they can rob a bank they can steal drive cars they can even dance or something, I don't know. But they have more abilities to do stuff than the, you know, characters like Ryan Reynolds. And it's really interesting because, so Ryan Reynolds' character is named Guy. And he is an NPC. And for some people who don't know what NPC means, it means non-player character. So he's basically a program, you know, he's a computerized character that's not real like he's not a real human he's just a program he's part of a video game and you know he's just a normal guy in the city and he meets a girl named molotov girl who is also played by jody Comer. which as you notice i mentioned that she was in the movie the last duo which i did a trailer review on so she is not an NPC, she's an actual player from the real world and she was in the video game and she had the sunglasses. And he meets her and he actually starts like liking her, liking her. And he wanted to like go see her or something but then he realized that she had sunglasses on so he thought the only way to talk to her if he can get sunglasses. So he steals another player's sunglasses and when he puts the sunglasses on he starts realizing he's in a video game universe and he starts like doing all these little like competitions a little like you know experience and discoveries of certain things like the you know there was like a little first aid box that's kind of like you know not really like an extra life but kind of like you know giving him strength or abilities and power in somewhat ways. He starts experiencing the life of a person, of a player who have sunglasses on. And then he starts becoming to be part of the game and not only he becomes like, you know, involved with, you know, the video game universe, but he becomes the first ever NPC to come to life and becomes a big character in his own video game. And so he meets up with Molotov Girl and then they start talking and then, you know, other players that are playing the game, they start noticing him and they're like, who is this guy? I don't, who are you? Who, in what world of Earth are you? And they don't know who this guy is. So they call him Blue Shirt Guy. And then soon later on, they start realizing that he's actually an NPC, that he is not a player. He's just a background character. He's a non-player character in the video game. It's also kind of interesting because this is also kind of a bit of a, of a unique love story because it's about mostly of how a gamer is in love with an NPC, you know, person who doesn't exist in the real world. That's just a program. And I think that's really kind of cool how they do that. And that it's just a background character that is computerized in the game world. So yeah, when I saw this movie, I was actually very impressed with it. And I would never think that this would be this good and this funny. You know, because when I saw the trailer of it, I was like, what is this? And when I heard that it was a video game universe, I was like, really? And you know, just with Ryan Reynolds, I was like, okay, I know he's gonna be funny, but I just think the plot's gonna suck. For some of you that don't know, I work at a movie theater. And for us working in movie theaters, we get employee screenings. So the employee screening for the month that we watched was Free Guy. And I was like, uh, I'm just gonna watch it for the heck of it. And I have to say, I was so blown away of how good it was and how impressed I was on 
you know, the story of it, the the comedy of it, the characters, and even the visuals is really, really stunning, you know? I thought the visuals were amazing and how they made it very video game concept, you know, with like the movements, the animation of Ryan Reynolds looking like a game character, and the graphics of Free City, and making it look a lot like a Fortnite Grand Theft Auto kind of video game. You know, I just thought the visuals were really, really cool. You know, this movie is more like an IMAX movie because you feel more like you're part of a video game um, universe and just the movements and then it's kind of interesting that you know when you see in a very big screen you see little things in the movie that are kind of funny you know you'll see some characters doing some exotic things you know jumping on a pole or dancing or jumping up and down you know it kind of brings a little bit of a video game world of what people actually do when they play video games you know so i think it's really cool how they do that but yeah i thought the plot was very original and it was kind of like i said had a little combination of a ready player one you know a video game universe and that the non-player character discovers the real life world of video games and meeting players from our world and learning about what it's like for npc characters you know that I thought it was cool for like NPC characters, they, you know, they like repeat everything that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, with him, like he gets up in the morning, he says good morning Goldie to his little goldfish, he has cereal, he walks to the coffee shop to get a little cup of coffee, then he goes to the bank, he works at a bank, he's a bank teller, and he has a security friend and that there's always a bank robbery and then you know it just repeats the same thing over and over and over and over again and you know when he meets molotov girl and then start realizing the world of what it's like with the people with sunglasses it start changes everything of his life so i kind of like how the fact that it kind of like you know for the npc characters of like you know do you wish you know you can do something more with life than just repeating everything you know what if there were some more things that you would like to do rather than just doing the same thing every day and i just think that's really cool of how they do it in a video game universe as far as with my likes and dislikes of this movie um i really don't have any dislikes about this movie because like i said i think this movie was really well done you know really well written and the plot was really good and i loved it all the way to be honest you know the visuals were stunning and the music was really really cool and i loved the comedy i thought the comedy was so hysterical as always because of course you know deadpool ryan reynolds is in it and plus you have the guy from stranger things um joe carey and the security guard is from get out who also played um i think like an airplane security officer or something but he was in get out and you know seeing him in this movie it's kind of funny as well and i like how they use realistic indications in a video game universe and like i said it's like how a video game universe that you know like i said this video game which is called free city that's kind of like a fortnite grand theft auto it has gun violence at fights robberies that it reflects the real world and how we as people should try to make the world a better place rather than living with it and accepting it. And there's a scene that was really good that um, Ryan Reynolds' character and everybody that was in the um, part of the video game, he was like asking the question of like, what if we can, you know, make the world better? Like, why do we have to deal with all these negative things? And he was asking Molotov Girl saying, how many like, bank robberies do you see every day and then she was saying oh hardly any how many corpses do you see any and then the funny part it was funny but at the same time kind of like cold like saying oh you probably don't see any gun violence every day and then she's like well actually that's not true we see a lot of gun violence in the world it's bad so it's kind of funny how in the video game universe they kind of share a little bit of the real world of there's gun violence, we see fights, we see robberies, we see so many negative in the world and we're just accepting it rather than fixing it and trying to make the world a better place. So I kind of like how they add a little bit of that 
and to twist it up with a video game universe kind of story. So my rating on this movie, you know, definitely give it a good tomato. I hear it was a good tomato 82% and that's kind of around the range I would give it like an 82 or even an 85. I can boost it to 85%. Zero out of 10 stars, I give it a 9.5 out of 10 stars. I highly recommend this movie. You know, if you are a video game person and if you love Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto, and of course if you're a huge Ryan Reynolds fan, I suggest you to watch this movie because I think it's very well done. It's very funny. Ryan Reynolds does an absolute fantastic job on this movie and just the storyline of it is really good. It's very original and the visuals of it to make it look like a video game, that is really spot on. So I recommend everybody to watch this movie. So that's all my today's review on Free Guy. If you ever seen this movie, please leave comments of what you thought about it and what your review is on that movie. So like my video, subscribe my channel, leave comments below what you thought about the video and what you thought about the movie and catch on to the next reaction video. I'll see you later guys.